This is the second video that will cover the change in law to first inventor to file. You've already learned what is considered prior art and how it's used to determine patentability under the first part of the novelty section or 35 U.S.C. 102A1. So remember that restrictive definition of prior art? Well, in the second part of the new law, exceptions to what can be considered prior art are defined. In certain situations, these exceptions protect inventors from having their own work count as prior art. That is, when the work is publicly disclosed by the inventor, a co-inventor, or anyone who obtained the subject matter directly or indirectly from the inventor or co-inventor. How does this work? Well, like the prior art section, there are two parts to the exceptions. We'll discuss the first part in this video. The first part of the exception says that any disclosures made by the inventor or a co-inventor up to a year before the effective filing date of the claimed invention would not be considered as prior art. We call that a grace period. Also, the second part says that a disclosure of the claimed invention made by someone who obtained the subject matter directly or indirectly from the inventor or co-inventor would also not be considered as prior art. So what does this mean for you as an inventor? Well, let's say you want to publish an article about your invention before you file for patent protection. That's fine. But just make sure that you do eventually file for patent protection and obtain an effective filing date that is within one year from the time the article is published. The article will not be considered prior art against you. Okay, so just remember that a disclosure made one year or less before a claimed invention's effective filing date would not be considered prior art against the claimed invention as long as it is made by the inventor or someone who obtained the subject matter of the invention directly or indirectly from the inventor.